Joe Alter. Uh, I'm from Gothenburg, Sweden. Moved to Berlin three years ago. This year I've been working a lot with this uh, new project, Johnson Alter, uh, with a friend uh, Henrik Johnson. Actually, we know each other from Gothenburg, but we were not really friends. We're just hanging out at the same parties, being part of the same crowd, you know, and when I moved to Berlin, suddenly he was my neighbor down in Neukölln. One day he came to my place to check some synthesizer. And then we started to play, and especially on this Roland string machine that I got, I started to record and we just made a track that night and and then we listened to it. It's like, wow, this is pretty cool. Maybe we should do it again. And then a couple of days later, we met again and we did another track. And then we met again and we did another track. So almost every time we met, we made a track. And then we were like, okay, so uh, we just passed it on to Ulf at Contra Music because Henrik already did a 12 inch with them. And he was totally in love with the music. So it basically came out of there. And then half a year later we had an album. I did the release on this label Room with a View a couple of years ago and Jules uh, licensed one of the tracks to his, he did this uh, compilation for his bass culture night at the Rex Club in, in Paris. So he wanted this track that I did. So I was like, well, I should send him some stuff. So I just mailed him on MySpace. And uh, he was like, yeah, I really like this. And then I sent him more stuff. And from that, we kind of connected and we did one EP, which was going really, really well. And now I just, uh, like two days ago, released my follow-up, which is called the, the Rules of Love. And it's featuring Eric D. Clark on vocals. I started going out to parties when I was like 16 or 17 or something and I was like uh, techno parties everywhere, every every weekend in Göteborg at that time, like underground parties and it was also these acid jazz parties and I used to go to the rave parties and the acid jazz parties just to dance and then I heard this track from Roman Sykes, like this drum and bass track on radio and I was like, what the fuck, this is sick. And I went to the shop next day and I was like, oh, there it is. <laughs> I just bought this record and then I decided, okay, I'm gonna be a DJ. <laughs> and I actually learned DJing at the parties. I never, I was never like these uh, bedroom DJs. I was just for the party, so I think today that gave me a lot of experience to you know, work with the crowd. You don't need to have a perfect mix all the time, but you have to have contact with people and you have to speak emotionally with music. For a couple of years I didn't do any live sets at all, and then now recently I got this uh, request of doing a live and I was like, yeah, sure. I'll do it and, and then finally the, the pieces came together and it was like wow uh, it's I mean it's so much fun I mean I love to DJ also for like three or four hours but also doing like a live set for one hour it's it's a different energy you know you you get it you get it all out of you in just one hour some of the best parties I've played have been some really underground Göteborg parties, of course, with a lot of friends and people like that. But also the energy you get in clubs in Berlin. Uh, we played Panorama Bar like three weeks ago. And I mean, everyone talks about the feeling there. And it's true because the thing is, everyone who goes there, they go to see you play and to dance. It's not like, they're not there to, to drink or to to get a girlfriend or a boyfriend, they are there to dance. That's the main target. And then maybe if you get lucky, I mean, you, you will be even more happy. I mean, but the main target is the music. And when you perform there, you feel that. And I guess that's something that you really have here in Berlin overall. I'm gonna take this uh, winter month.
enough to kind of bring a lot of my own thoughts back into music since I was spending so much time this year with this Johnson Albert project and I have a lot of ideas in my head that I want to get down, you know.